Please remember to keep your arms inside the doors and remain seated at all times. For your security, there are safety rails and an emergency stop button in front of you. It's 9am on the morning of Wednesday the 15th of October 1997. It's a fine day and the temperature is about 4 degrees centigrade. The car has already done three supersonic test runs and the aim today is to do two supersonic runs within one hour to set the world's first supersonic ground speed record. The run will start very slowly. Too much power at slow speed and the engines will literally suck the desert surface into the intakes. At about 100 miles an hour, I'll increase the engines to maximum speed and at 200 miles an hour, light the afterburners to give the full 20 tons of thrust, equivalent to almost 100,000 horsepower, with SSC now accelerating at over 25 miles an hour per second. My job is to follow the white line painted on the desert floor, but rear wheel steering causes the car to wander slightly, and as you'll see, it becomes more and more difficult to keep the car straight as the speed increases. Wind at, uh, mile, 10 o'clock.